Good morning and welcome back to another video. My name is Elaine and along with my husband Darren and our dog Max we live in central Portugal in a tiny village house and we have a small plot of land. Uh, today is a bit different. We have been offered um, a fridge, a full-size fridge, not the one that we've been struggling with all this summer but because it's a full-size fridge it works on normal mains electricity so that's going to be another part of the story but today we're just focusing on getting the fridge so thank you Morton very kind um, it's probably getting on for 9 a.m it's already 36 degrees centigrade and last night was probably the warmest and most uncomfortable night that we've had this summer so we're feeling a bit if you can put that into words a little bit tired a little bit drained but happy to be getting out and about and collecting something that may well be very useful to us. So Max is already in the car, let's jump in and go. Max is already in the car but I think we might need to take this seat out to make it easier to get the fridge in. So I'll just grab Darren and we'll get that organised. Good. Yeah. And then you have this click here. Yeah. Ah, good. Easy peasy. Do you need a hand to carry it? Very heavy to carry. Uh... Yeah, and you can't get your hand in that handle piece, no can you? No kind of hold it really. That's the thing. Yeah. It's very awkward, but. Okay, we've made it to Morton's house. Uh -huh. um, he's not here, so <laughs> sadly can't expect him to pop onto the video, but hello. <laughs> um, and we're just gonna help ourselves to the fridge he has offered. Just in case you were wondering where Max was. He's got this lovely shady space for five minutes while we load up the fridge. So he's got lots of shade and some juice. So this is the fridge that we've been offered. It'll probably need a really good clean out, won't it? I but it's not been used for a I while. imagine it still works. It does. You showed us the video of it working. Excellent. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to get that into the car.
mission successful. We have got the fridge. Don't forget Max. <laughs> now we'll get back because it is starting to get really hot now, isn't it? It's already starting to get warm. I think yeah. it's only, I'm not sure what time it is. Not nearly even 11, 10, yeah. nearly 10. And it's already getting warm. Yeah, crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we'll get ourselves back. I'll go and give Max. That's mission accomplished. We have our fridge. Thank you very much, Morton. We'll get ourselves away home because it's getting hot. It's getting warm now. Let's go. Evening, everyone. It's uh, getting cool, 26 degree Friday evening. It's about 7.30 in the evening and so we've decided to pop up to the land and move the wood, the timber that was delivered yesterday because we just, it was too hot yesterday and we didn't want to go out um, in the heat of the day today. Even though it's starting to get cooler, it was still a bit too hot to be um, lumping wood around. So Darren has gone up in the car with Max because we're going to sort of use that and put it into the back of the car and I'm going to walk up with you so let's get ourselves away oh it's actually raining I mean, it's only a few drops, but it's actually raining. We do have clouds in the sky, which have been gathering. Wow, that's really odd. I know it's only rain. And when we get loads of rain, I complain about that. But, hmm. Really nice. It's making it quite refreshing. So let's get ourselves away. Um, it has been, not for us, a busy Friday afternoon, but for for our friends it has. They live um, the other side of Castellabranco district to us. And both Debbie and Steve from Portugal Dreams and ANG from Portugal it is have two separate large fires going on quite close to them so I've been trying to stay in touch with them um, the one next to ANG is quite close to them and uh, there's only so many resources but using the app the Fogosh app, it appears that um, all of the Bomberas are doing a sterling job and getting it, or getting both of the fires hopefully under control. But it is a bit breezy, so that does make me concerned. Oh, let's have a look. We're just getting ready for sunset. I think sunset is due. Just after eight o'clock today. It's always a worry when you know people who are involved okay. in situations like help. that. <laughs> I did, yes, just as I was stepping out. Started to rain. Yeah. I was like, I cannot believe this that it's actually started to rain. Not much rain. Yeah, just a few drops. We've... A few drops. I was just doing the compost there and the rain started coming down. I thought, I don't believe this. What's happening? Somebody's <laughs> <laughs> dripping on me. Yeah, yeah. that's what it felt like a little bit. Yeah, well, I've luckily turned up quite late because Darren's on the last piece of wood. Normally when the guys bring the delivery, um, it's the same guy every time really friendly everybody in the, the lumber yard is friendly but um, when he comes he has a small pickup 
<laughs> and he, I think he can sort of do about yeah. three meters is probably the maximum that he can do yeah but he was on holiday um so his colleague uh George he brought it and he was driving a big long delivery truck so I didn't want him to go down our bumpy road where mm. there's not a lot of turning space for a long vehicle and no. uh so we just I just said oh we'll just put it here so George and I um delivered it yeah. just onto a pallet here and uh I've turned up just in time for you to have done all the work. Well done, though. Yeah, I was just thinking I'm going to go and have a look at the figs. Oh yes, our fig we tree. Have, we haven't been back been to that. It's been over a week, so they may just be ready. Yeah, let's have a look. This is the fig tree, which is now more like a fig bush. We really cut that right back um, last year, didn't we? We did. Well, right yeah. at the beginning of the year, when when um, ANG came to help us prune the yeah. olive trees because um, most of it did look dead and the results are chopped up on the the ground here um, mm. so they're looking good there's only a couple not yeah. worth turning into jam or anything mm. i am going to make some chutney though probably um tomorrow so i think there will be a nice addition to a, a chutney some oh, chunks okay. of fig this one looks as though it's been nommed by something <laughs> i'll throw that one off oh, there's some nice ones oh lovely yeah they'll go in a chutney definitely yep. rather than just eating them oh and there's another is that a softy moller no yeah i've got to have a look on this tree. Munched one and then the other one is just here this is the one that we cleared around cooled down the weather has cooled down all of a sudden though hasn't it you can feel in the last two or three hours yeah and you can feel a coolness in the air and if you look up there look at those clouds yeah well, we've been looking at the clouds haven't we since uh since we left the house yeah and they're wonderfully backlit at the moment will that be enough for a chutney oh absolutely yes uh-huh there we go then we'll take them back and we'll go and uh get the we'll wood go down and sort the wood yep. yeah brilliant The cactuses that we got from the dodgy nearby. If you remember back, they're all doing really well. None of them have completely died yet. This one's really good. Some of them are looking a little bit thin and some are looking a little bit yellow. I do water them every now and again. And on this side, they're looking really good too, um, except for this one. I haven't got a lot of hope for this side, but that side might be okay. Right. I don't think I can get out of uh, not helping to unload the wood, but we'll take a slow walk down anyway. garden house but we use the same wood as we're going to use um, in the framing of it that we're going to use to frame the deck and the toilet shower cubicle um, so I'm just gathering together all of the wood that has the same dimension so we had one extra long piece these four pieces here and then I've got a little stack in my wood yard um, 
where I hoard all my bits that Darren rolls his eyes at and goes, God, that will never be any use to you. But I've got a bit of a, what would you call it? Wood pile. A wood pile. So if we put it all where we can see it, then we'll remember to use these bits. So yeah, good point. All the little tiny pieces that I honestly don't think you could do anything with we've got for kindling or whatever and when we eventually get a wood burning stove mm -hmm. yeah I was about to say it was really nice to do a short work well a short piece of work where I didn't end up sweating but I'm sweating <laughs> <laughs> but not as badly as, yeah. as we you have. feel that rain though it's definitely something happening up there isn't there yeah and it's a, it's a good decent cloud. We haven't had thick cloud like this for months. We haven't. It looks really cool. I love it. Yeah. Just nice to see, isn't it? Yeah, different weather. Just a bit of variety. Absolutely. Yeah. Here's our fridge, all clean and in place. We're just waiting for an inverter to arrive to upgrade our system. And then hopefully we'll be good to go. But other than that, that's everything from us this week. So thank you for spending time with us, take care and we'll see you on the next one.